Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today, I'd like to show you how to make an EMT band that's called a kick. Here's your arrow. The kick is actually right here. Now, at first glance, this band will probably just look like a 90 degree stub. But when you look more closely, you can see that this conduit is coming along and there's a slight change of direction right here. And this is where the kick is right here. And see, now this conduit now changes direction right here. And now there's a space right here. And then it goes up to the gang box and goes in. So a very important part of this band is a 90 degree stub. You have to make a nice 90 degree stub. But the part that I'm going to show you right here is the kick. You see this bend right here is called a box offset. It goes to this box. When you make a box offset, you need more room than you have in this example. This is about 10 and a half inches right here from the bottom to here. And you're going to need about 12 inches to do a box offset with a 90 degree bend. So you can't really do a box offset to go to this box right here. That's kind of out of the question. So what we do is we just put a little kick uh, at, in, about in this area right here and that kind of offsets the conduit the right amount, about 3 eighths of an inch. And I, I really didn't measure when I uh, made this kick. It's something uh, from experience. You just know that it's about 3 eighths of an inch and you, and you go put it up. But I'm going to show you how to do this with measuring and I'm going to show you how to do it just by eye. To make this 90 degree stub, we need to know that the bender says right on it, stubs five inches to arrow. It's going to look like this. The, the arrow is going to be right here. See, I've made a mark at five and a half inches and then the bender needs five inches. So that'll give us a ten and a half inch stub. So with your arrow on the five and a half inch mark, we do these uh, 90 degree stubs on the ground and just bend it real nice and steadily. And about there. Okay, it's a good idea to check it. Make sure you're right at 90 degrees. I think this one's off about one degree. Oh, might as well. Let's see here. Okay, that one's right on. 90 degrees. The most important thing when you're making a kick is to put it in the right direction. See, we're going to have it up on the wall and this part's going to come up. So this is correct. You see the hook of the bender lifts the conduit up off the ground a little bit. And you want it to be level with the ground. And then you want your bender handle to be perpendicular. So this has to be right angles. And if you have a nice level floor, you could actually put a little level on here to make sure. But this isn't actually level so that wouldn't help me so you gotta make sure it's it's nice and uh, perpendicular with your bender handle and then the hook of the bender has to be beyond the arc the radius of the arc if if i had it up here that would mess it up see i'm i'm back here beyond the radius of the arc so we're nice and perpendicular and remember just doing this by eye and it's just, there it is. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's your kick. We just kicked it out a little bit. Okay, here's the kick right here. You see how it, it bent out just a little bit. Now let's put it up and see how it worked. We'll put it in the uh, fitting that goes to the box. All right, we've got a nice fit. So once again, the kick starts right about where the arrow is right here. And you see it's coming along the wall and then it kicks out a little bit. And then we have about 3 eighths of an inch back here. And then it comes up to the box. So there's our kick right there. It's done by eye. I'm going to go ahead and take this one down. So 
one that I did by eye. So this one I'm going to make by measuring. And I'm going to measure from the back of the band 12 inches. Right there. Last time I just estimated it. Uh, this time it's going to be right on 12 inches. Okay, I have a couple lines marked here on this 4x4. Four four. And the first one is the height of the conduit when it's in the bender. You see, it doesn't really set flat on the ground when it's in the bender. It elevates a little bit. So then I'm going to bend it up 3 eighths of an inch to right there. So I'm going to go ahead and bend it up to 3 eighths of an inch. That looks about right right there. Let's see how it came out. Okay, here's the kick that I measured. So let's see how it turned out. Put it right in there. So you can see that the kick starts right about here, similar to where the one I did by eye did, and then it slowly go, comes out, and then it goes straight up to the box. So that's a, a kick. So there's two ways to do it. You can measure it uh, carefully and everything, or just do it by eye. Now if you needed to kick out farther, like you wanted to kick out two inches, that would be a good time to use the measuring system so that you get your two inches. But for a three-eighths kick, I would say just do it by eye. <laughs> it's easier and faster. And it comes out just as good. I'll put a link in my video description for the new tool bags from Klein. This one has eight pockets and it'll move as much as 32 degrees. So it moves with you while you're working and it just comes right off. It's a modular system. And so there's uh, four different styles, and they all just fit right onto this item right here, and it just clicks into place. Also, I'll put a link for the Klein 9 inch lighted level, the Klein 25 foot magnetic tape measure that has the conduit bending tables on the back, and I'll put a link for the DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver, the Milwaukee 3 and a quarter inch bandsaw. And for ideal benders, thanks. I hope this video was helpful.